My name is Stuart Rook. I am a PM6 production manager. I've been at Kemsley just shy of three years now. So, PM6 for the first system installed, I think, nearly three years back now. I think the system works twofold. You can also you can look at the brake frequency, which is a key tool for problem solving. Is it a lump? Is it a crack? Uh, is it a split? Is it draws too tight? I think the major thing I take from it is the winder uptime. I think what it's given us winder uptime. The winder used to shut, I would say, two two day, two times a week, and now we're at the point where the winders, you know. 96% uptime and we're shooting for shows probably once a week, once a month, which is a breakdown. So that's that's the best part of the tool I would say. I think you know the camera system, looking at web brakes is a good tool. You know, we can we've got nine cameras and a mobile camera. We're just looking to extend it to a tenth camera so we can take a mobile one to the first press. So the problem solving, it's a great tool. You know, the guys were blind before, so if they had a break, they would just put the sheet back on. And then nine times out of ten the sheet would break again because you didn't get to the root cause of the problem. So that's a good tool. I would say the winder one that I talked about, the winder uptime is a massive tool. And also we've started to use the system more of a quality tool. Uh, we had a, a customer complaint probably six to eight months ago where we had splashing in the sheet. So the actual system now can identify splashes. So it's a bit of a go-to for the crews to shut the machine down, uh, clean the machine up and then get, get going again. So we actually use it as a quality tool now as well instead of just a brake analysis and a winder uptime tool. So I think brake frequency, you look at brakes on six they probably improved by 10 to 15 percent so that's a massive tool and like I said the wind is the biggest one for me you know if the winder shuts and it's full the machine shuts so that's the biggest positive for me I think the system's good I've, the system doesn't give us any problems I would say you know you put a lot of systems in over your years and it always gives you problems I've had no problems with the Protomex system to the point where like I said before we're, re we're upgrading it because I want it better <laughs> just you know greedy myself so uh, and that's it, you know, we have it serviced probably once every 12, 12 months, 16 months. And really it's just a thing that you forget about. It's just an everyday thing that we don't need to concentrate on. I would say, like I said, the system runs itself. I think when we have one-off issues like the splash mark for a customer complaint, we got Proximex involved, you know, they came over for a week. We did other little mods to the system. And then, you know, we just have a, a routine where we get them in every 12 months to 16, 18 months just to give the system a service, change the lenses, and then every plan shut, we have an outside team that just look at the lights and just clean it off and just keep the system running. So, like I said, you just really forget about it. It just it does what it says on the tin. <laughs> We're looking at a full service maintenance contract. Now we've got all three systems in place. Before it wasn't viable, uh, just having PM6. So now we've got all the spares for all three machines. So that'll be in place. Uh, I think we're looking at uh, on-call support five days a week. We don't need it on a weekend because it's such a reliable system. And then we're looking at two service visits every 12 months per asset, so six in total. So, so if you've got a problem on the weekend, I can just put my laptop on, connect to my Wi-Fi, and within two minutes I can see what the sheet break is at home. So you know I live 25 miles away, so it's better than me driving to the mill to support me and mark my assistant. We can just get on home, have a quick look, and nine times out of ten we can problem solve it from our city. <laughs> Obviously I wasn't here for the training, but the training was good, I should say, because the skill set of the people using it now is really good. Uh, and I think, you know, they just take it as just an everyday tool. You see when the sheet comes off, the first thing they do is they're in the control room looking at the brake. You know, before they had no no, uh, no visual inputs, they couldn't see nothing. So now, you know, it's not just the, the, the assistant shift manager, the team leaders in there, the drying crew, so they're all looking at what's going on. And then the winder, is the flip side. If we've got an issue with the winder one, it's not slowing down in the right area, they're the first ones to send me an email and complain. So it, it just shows you how much they rely on the system now. So it's a bit of a comfort blanket now. So I wouldn't say it's a massive issue having to keep them clean. Uh, you know, we have a, every six weeks, we have a team come in and clean them, do it, give them a thorough clean. But on a shift to shift basis, week to week, day to day, there's no real issues. They might just clean them once, two or three times a week, really. You know, the, the pictures are good. I just, I want a new system because I can see what the benefits are upgrading looking at P3's camera, so.